Okay, so tell us about where we're going. So we are going to Real de Catorce. It is a small village up in the mountains um, outside Matehuala, San Luis Potosí. Um, it is a big uh, photography and videography location. It was actually where the Mexican was filmed. Okay, so what are some of the highlights of Real de Catorce? You said it's like a real big photographer hot spot. You can ride horses up the mountains. Okay. You can take old um, like jeeps up the mountain to the old historic. Uh, I don't think it's a cathedral. Uh, maybe it's an abbey or something. Make a little pit stop real quick. Check out this incredible view. It's what I love about Mexico. All this scenery. It's so beautiful. The mountains. I absolutely love it. Now we just gotta figure out where the tunnel is. Oh, there it is. Is that it? That is a tiny tunnel. So Real de Catorce is an old mining town, so they used the old mining tunnel and widened it just a tiny bit for the cars to fit through, but only fits one at a time, so just waiting right now. You have all the cool old buildings here. Don't know exactly what all they are, but they're really pretty. Yes. Okay. Gracias. We just got here and we were parking by the hotel that is so much of an incline that our brakes wouldn't grab. So came down like a block away so we could get a better parking spot. So we're at a restaurant right now, and we got gorditas, and they're literally making the actual masa, like, masa right now. So it's gonna be fresh, super fresh. <laughs> the beauty of small town life is we're at a restaurant. The kids are getting disciplined behind us because mom's cooking and dad's doing the serving. <laughs> so you get a real like family experience. Like, I feel like I'm at home right now. Yep. And very personal and really, just the, the Latin culture is just so hospitable. And so it's really cool to come to places like this that's just um, run by a family and, and probably run by, you know, multiple members of the same family. And so it's really, I like to support, support them. And the food is amazing. It's so hot because everything was literally made. Yeah, for, I can't eat just nice right because it's no, so hot. It was just made. So we're excited about that.
here at this hotel, we have this beautiful, beautiful balcony. And as far as I can tell, we're the highest balcony in the area. So we have this great view. We can see the uh, cathedral right behind us. We can see all out of the city. I mean, look at this. Look, I'll turn you around. Look over here. You know? So we have a whole panoramic view. We can look all around. It's great. So, if you get to come to Rale Catorce, this is a pretty stellar hotel. So last night we stayed at the hotel Amor Paz, Peace and Love Hotel. Um, it was nice. It was it was really nice. Um, we're heading down right now to go to the Mirador, the lookout point, and then see some more of the city, and then head back to Saltillo later on this afternoon. So we're not doing it today, but a lot of people when they come to Real de Catorce, they take these jeeps up the mountain, and. I mean, there's no seatbelts. I think people even sit on the tops of them and go up, and I hear it's a lot of fun. So maybe next time we'll do that. We're out on a lookout right now. About a bummy. Um, the Catorce is like in, a, in a, a circular valley of mountains and then down below is just a beautiful, beautiful range of mountains down behind us and the desert way out down behind us. I think this is, should be west, I think, if I remember right. slippery <laughs> so you just have to like make sure you bring good walking shoes or hiking like shoes good, with good traction yeah something with traction boots um, if you're coming for a romantic getaway um, uh, wear a dress but um, throw on some hiking boots So here we are, leaving the city. I have behind me, back around there, you can see sort of the entrance to the tunnel. And the tunnel is about, I think it's about 1.1 miles, give or take. It takes about five or six minutes to get there. And then going through, like once you're out, it's just roads along the mountain over here. Heading home. Ugh. 